I don't want universal health care. I want Universal Studios health care. Or does Obama not care about protecting us from mummies? <laughs> the one time a year it actually is fun is Halloween Horror Nights, which is so amazing. Halloween Horror Nights is great, uh, which, by the way, Universal Studios is scary year-round because they're their own city. They're not a part of Los Angeles. Universal City is its own... Like, I think Texas must be jealous of how easy it was for them to break away. No, we're, we're our own thing, which means they have their own post office and they have their own fire department and their own building codes. So every building you walk into on Universal has to have been met by the code set by the mayor of Universal, whoever he may be. Take your chances. Um, but for Halloween Horror Nights, they redo the entire park uh, every night, and it's amazing. It takes about half an hour to turn Shrek 4D into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You wouldn't <laughs> think. And uh, one year I went, and the big house that year was the Saw Haunted House. And we waited in line for two hours to get in. Two hours to get into a house that took probably five minutes to walk through. Um, I'm waiting for the Saw movie where the torture is that a guy has to stand with a group of people he barely knows for two hours listening to the same Saw movie trailer on repeat. Like, that's goddamn torture. Um, but we take one step into the house and instantly it was worth it because this haunted house went the extra mile. Wasn't just scary to look at and didn't just sound scary. It attacked the olfactory senses. It was the smelly... It's like if uh, Axe Body Spray had a scent called Mass Grave. <laughs> and you sprayed that into an old leather shoe full of tuna. That's the air freshener you would have hung in here to make it smell a little bit better. Uh, and we're walking through the house and most of the guys that are jumping out have like masks on. They're we walk into one room and there's a guy in the middle of the room. He's got guts on him. And you can tell we're going to walk up close and all of a sudden he's going <gasps> to ah, he's gonna go for you. And what happens is this guy on the table breathes in deeply, breathes in a little too much of the smell, chokes on the smell of the haunted house, <laughs> tries to recover and still go for the scare. So it sounded like... <clears throat> like and didn't... <laughs> Stopped himself, realized, like stopped himself in mid-grab, realized how bad this looked, sat back up, grabbed his guts, and just walked out a side door. He quit the, they made a haunted house so oppressive, the monsters inside were like, I need to talk to my union rep. This is unworkable.